Lesson 11.4a, Using Inequalities to Describe Quantities. An inequality is a mathematical sentence that shows the relationship between quantities that are not equal. 5 and 6 are not equal. 5 is less than 6. We can use inequality symbols with variables to describe quantities that have many possible values. The values can be written within a range of two numbers or can begin with a number and continue to infinity. This is the infinity symbol. It's like a sideways 8. Infinity is a number that is greater than can be reached in counting. So remember when writing the inequality symbols, the larger side faces the greater number and the smaller side faces the lesser number. So here are the symbols and meanings for the inequality symbols. You know this one probably. This is, is less than. It means fewer than or below. We have our is greater than symbol, which means more than above. This symbol with the line under it is less than or equal to. It means at the most, no more than. And this is greater than or equal to. It means at the least, no less than. The lowest temperature ever recorded in Jimstown was minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Graph this temperature on the number line. We see 0. Here's negative 4. We'll put a dot. We plot the point. And the temperature is 0 degrees, 1 degree, 7 degrees, 6 degrees, and negative 3 degrees Fahrenheit have also been recorded in Jimstown. Graph these temperatures on the number line. We have zero, so we're going to put a point there. We have one degree. We have seven degrees, that's way over here. We have six degrees. And we have negative three degrees. That's going to be over here by the negative four. How do the other temperatures, the ones we just graphed, compared to negative 4. Well, here's negative 4. They're all greater than negative 4. And compared to negative 4, where are they located on the number line? Well, here's negative 4. They're all to the right of negative 4. How many more numbers have the same relationship to negative 4 as the other numbers as 0, 1, 7, 6, and negative 3. How many more numbers on this number line would have the same relationship, would all be greater than negative 4? Well, there's an arrow at the end of this number line. That means it keeps going on and on and on. And we would have an endless amount of numbers going to the right of negative 4. That means there would be an infinite number. An infinite number are greater than negative 4. All of the numbers greater than negative 4 are to the right of negative 4. Here we have negative 4, and all of these numbers to the right are greater than negative 4. And when graphing all the possible temperatures greater than negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit, we would draw a ray. Remember, a ray is an arrow going in one direction, extending to the right of negative 4, that does not include negative 4. That's why there's an open circle here. We'll talk about that more in the next lesson. We can write an inequality for the data shown on the number line using a variable to represent any number greater than negative 4. x would represent all these numbers greater than negative 4 is greater than negative 4. And we can write inequalities, compare negative 4 to 0, 1, 7, 6, and negative 3, those other temperatures. 0 is greater than negative 4, and 1 is greater than negative 4, and so is 7 and 6, and negative 3 is greater than negative 4. They're all greater than negative 4. Any number to the left of negative 4 is less than negative 4. We have negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. They are all less than negative 4. 
This is the symbol for is less than or equal to. Tala made no more than $15 babysitting. This means not more than $15. Possibly $15, but not more than $15. This includes $15 and all the numbers less than 15. We could write 15 is less than or equal to X, the amount she made. This symbol is greater than or equal to. Tala made at least $15 babysitting. This means she made $15 as the lowest possible amount, but maybe she made more. So it includes 15 and all numbers greater than 15. 15 is greater than or equal to X, the amount she made babysitting. We're finished with this lesson. We're going to move on to the second part, graphing the solution of an inequality. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you join me for the next lesson. Bye.